So I am back from traveling, just got back a week ago yesterday from Madagascar and I'm finishing up all the editing from just like the days that I was there. I have some bigger videos planned but I wanted to kind of ease back into some other videos. Obviously you know what this video is going to be about but I just kind of want to preface it by saying that I don't go barefoot all the time. I think people have this misconception that I am barefoot, you know, airports, while I'm in the city, at formal events. I'm really not barefoot all the time. I'm barefoot as much as I can be. And I find when traveling, there seem to be more opportunities to go barefoot just because in a lot of different cultures, that's more accepted and it's normal to see people just walking the streets with no shoes on. So for this past trip I brought a pair of sneakers, a pair of flip-flops, and a pair of sandals. Um, I only wore the sneakers two days and I prefer some type of sandal or flip-flop so that I can take them off very easily. So when I'm in the airport and just waiting I'll just slip them off and sit on the chair very nicely or even when I'm in the airplane it's so much better to take off your shoes. I would definitely suggest if you really love being barefoot to wear something that you can easily slide on and off. Another kind of logistical thing, it saves a lot of room often because sandals and flip-flops don't take up as much room as sneakers and hiking boots and other types of boots. I know in some countries you would need a heavier pair of shoes but as much as possible if you really try to limit yourself to the amount of closed toed larger shoes that you have to bring um, that would definitely save you space in your luggage so that you could have other things or just bring a smaller bag. Along that same line um, being prepared is important so maybe there's there's going to be snow where you're going or something or there's a possibility that there still could be snow that would be really stupid to not be prepared for it at least. So I've gotten a few different responses from these barefoot videos that I've made. One being why even worry about trying to go barefoot when you're in another country. It's so much less stressful to just wear shoes and you're all set and what about like bacteria and you know, viruses. Obviously you have to be careful, but going barefoot actually relieves stress and traveling is very stressful at times. And so having moments or days or half days, hours, when you can feel the contact with the earth on your bare feet is super important for our own health because the earth contains energy and the idea, if you believe it or not, that's up to you, but the idea is that the earth has a certain energy and when you're walking on the bare feet you get that energy because you have that um, bare contact with the earth. If you're wearing shoes you don't have that. So I definitely feel like there were moments in the trip where I was just walking barefoot and I felt like so much more calm than I did when I was wearing shoes. There's a specific time I remember when we were boated over to this island and we had to wear shoes while we were walking through this forest and I felt anxious like the whole time like when was this gonna be over opposed to earlier that day when I wasn't wearing shoes and I was just kind of wandering around and it wasn't a it was close to the same amount of time that we spent at each place so I really do think it had to do with the fact that I was barefoot and was connected to the ground. If you want to learn more about grounding or earthing as it's called, I will leave a few links below. So in general, I would highly suggest trying to go barefoot as much as possible while traveling. It was super, super amazing, especially when I was able to go barefoot when the locals there were like, are you sure you can go barefoot? That was, that was really awesome to, to participate in their way of life, I suppose. That's all I have for this video. If you have more questions, you can leave them below. I have a big announcement coming big, a somewhat big announcement coming about these shirts and oh my gosh, so many other things. I am 
starting to train, if you will, for the ninja competition, the FB21, so I have a year and a half for that. There's possibly another bigger travel opportunity happening, so this is like kind of mind-blowing all these things that are happening at once, but it's good. It's really good. And as far as moving my tiny house, that really depends on this other opportunity that you will hear about in the future. So I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon.